tweaked up here. Make sure I ain't tweaking. Hey, welcome to the Rescue Podcast. I'm Eric, and I'm here with Owen. We are the co-founders of the rent stew podcast <laughs> um I'm trying to just adjust my mic stand here getting it real nice and good but hey i just want to say uh thank you for listening uh obviously you're listening right now so uh thank you yes. for doing that um and uh i just want to say we are closing in on 500 subscribers on youtube which is pretty cool mm -hmm. um we're really excited about that and uh we are gonna do a special 500 sub video Yes, we are. Ooh. And, uh, you know, after that, we will do a um, 1,000 subscriber giveaway. Um, and so yes. we're getting excited for that because we know that uh, or we're hoping that uh, that'll come sooner than we were expecting. Um, so as soon as that happens, you know, we'll uh, we'll be doing a giveaway and it's going to be really cool. Um, but, Owen, oh, let's get into it, man. Yeah. What are, we, what are we doing today? just want to address real quick. I... No, sorry for no episode last week. We had um, I was Eric was out. busy with a trip. I was gonna put out a post, but I kind of just forgot. So sorry about that. Um, all good. But um, yeah. So he he was on a trip to Nashville. Nashville. Like yep, it was, it was really super cool, cool time. Trip. And I was moving back into a different room. I was in a. It's kind of hard to tell because I have my lighting set up. I have a shelf here. I was trying to make you guys be able to see it while we record, but my he lighting was trying to flex working. the shelf. It's really to cool. Flex the shelf. It, I'll have to show it off whenever I can, you know, get better lighting. But anyways, we're doing Would You Rather 5? 4? 4. 4. 4. 4. four. 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 Let's so, double check. Let's cross-reference. Yeah. But this is a series, just like our gear grinders that we like to do on here. Where we just do, you know, the four. typical... 4. Yeah. Typical Would You Rathers. Um, you know, and we just... Could be over any topic. It doesn't have to be over one topic. Um, yeah. Do uh, you want to go first? Or you want me to go first? Man, how about you go first here? All right. Well, I'll just go. I'll go in order. This is the first Sponsor one. Sponsor us. <laughs> so the first one I thought of. So, would you rather have your ideal video game remake or your ideal new video game of like a new series? Ideal new video game. New video game. You know what game I want. You know what game I need, and you know what game that I will throw hands to get. Give me that full world online MMO. We've talked about this so much. I didn't even think about this. A one piece. This up. Give me that. Give, give me that. I I want it so bad mm -hmm. to just be able to get my friends, go on the grand line, search for the one piece. And you know, fight other pirates. Fight people. People can decide to be marines. You know, fight them. Uh, and treasure hunt, and you know, take over our own territory. Dude, that's what I want. Give yeah. me that. Give me that. I don't know. I think it's like it's like a fifty fifty for me because like I could definitely use like a new game and you know some of my favorite series, but I would also really like a remake of a couple games I know. that I, was, I really actually, like. I, low key, you know what I was actually thinking about telling you. Yeah. Or asking you, if you will. Mm -hmm. um, I was going to say, hey, would you rather have the brand new zombies only Call of Duty game based off of like Black Ops 3 zombies mechanics? Mm -hmm. Or would you rather have uh, Sonic Adventure 2 remastered? See, I, remade? I, I'd really like to have that game remade. That was that was the one I was thinking of the, the, <clears throat> off the top of my head. But I was also like, I also really like to have something like a new Sunshine game. Or Ooh, a Sunshine 2. Yeah, or like a new classic Paper Mario game or a new classic Halo game or right. you know, like some something like that. So it's tough. Um and then I'm like, you know, I could, you know, I'd love to see um, you know, some other remakes. Like I'd like to see a one to one remake of the original Final Fantasy Seven. I know there is a remake of it, but it's not one to one. It's gonna be different. So I could go down the list, but I think I think I would go with I think I'd go with a new game. I think there's just more opportunities, I guess, for new stuff. What would be your depending. top three new games? New zombie, not not in any order. Probably be new zombies. <clears throat> I don't know. I think I can cool. I think I'm cool with like I, I'd rather have a Sunshine remake than a new Sunshine game because I know it's not going to happen. They're not going to do a new Sunshine game, right? 
It's not going to happen. So it, that's like super unrealistic. I think my top would be a new Sonic Adventure game, new Zombies game, and then either like a new Paper Mario game, like the classic ones, or like maybe even like a new Smash Bros at this point, or like new Halo game. So there's definitely some options, but I think I'd go out of those three for my for the number three spot. I'd probably go. Um, I would probably go new Smash Bros. Honestly, I'm over the One Piece I, game. It'd be fun, but I feel like like he, here's the th- here's the th- here's the thing. Imagine you, me, here's Parker, the thing with the one, dude, here's the thing with dude, the One Piece. Come game. on, I think it would be amazing, and it would probably be one of the best games of all time. Two things: who's going to develop it? And that thing is it's not... no, no, no stop thinking realistic. Stop thinking realistic. That's where you're I'm trying hurting to hurt yourself. Stop thinking. I'm trying just to imagine if every great studio got together to make it. Man, From software good. doing the combat. Bethesda doing the quests. Yeah, I don't know. Like I I mean that would definitely be a top tier option but i'm going based off of i feel like i'm going a little bit based off of reality because it's never going to happen stop going off of reality it's not fun it's not fun you're the you're the kid who never had the imagination bro oh i I had it oh no 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 you were the kid yeah no 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 uh, okay listen i'm over there buying lego kits making different things with the lego kits than what's intended Dude, i created making the craziest storylines and you're over there and you're like putting it together and you're like it must stay this way on my show Dude, i created that's, that's something how you are. infinitely better than the mcu when i played with my legos as a kid the storyline was how good was the plot armor on the main character how goes the plot armor i think you can... <laughs> I, I honestly i don't know i saw i saw a video on tiktok and it was yeah. like it was like uh i can't remember what clip it was it was a clip of like some superhero like flying away after like a city's destroyed and it's like my care uh my favorite toy flying away after beating all of my other toys and then it had in parentheses is like he had infinite plot armor <laughs> dude he has more plot armor than naruto and luffy combined bro yeah bro that's that's funny no, i don't know like i i would say if i if i could be un as unrealistic as possible i would definitely go with a new game Okay, because then at that point I could just, I could just say I want. I don't know. I could go down the list. Hmm. Here's a question for you. Yes. So, let's not think about the heat right now, okay? Because obviously, okay. Yeah, it's it is hot. It is hot. so hot. It's the hottest day it's been around here where I live, and it's like. It's all. It's almost. It's like halfway through. No, it's more than halfway through August. Let's let's say it's sixty. Summer. Let's let's say it's sixty-five out. Between okay. sixty-five and seventy outside. Like perfect weather. You're driving. Mm-hmm. Would you rather have the windows down, cruising, or the world's best air conditioning in the car? Hmm. It depends. Like the most refreshing air conditioning. There, there's a couple of circumstances that are going to play into this. If I have a hat on, which I do a lot, I'm going to say oh, AC. Take your hat off for the people. Take your hat off oh, for yeah, the people. Oh, yeah, yeah. I forgot about this. Let's <sighs> go. Let's go. I got my haircut. Owen hasn't had his haircut since before we started the podcast. Yeah. <laughs> Think about that. We're coming up on a year. We're coming up on a year anniversary for the podcast, bro. Dude, it was like, it was bad. And I just got to a point where it's like, I don't want long hair ever again. And I'm going to grow it out a little bit extra to make sure I remind myself how bad and how much this sucks. So I don't get it again. I don't know. No, I was just, I was just too lazy. I'm (laughs) just making stuff up. I was just making, I'm making stuff up. What's he talking Um, about? Somebody get a dictionary for this man. <laughs> Owen to English. I need but an we'll Owen to English dictionary. Gotta 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 rep the Niners. Let's say let's so. say the hat hat won't fly off. Um I I'm a big fan of having the windows roll down. I am too, man. I feel like Dude. I feel like the I, I don't know. So when we drove when Scotty and I drove down to Nashville, right? Mm-hmm. We are going down, and it is hot, 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 hot. Right. 
And so I have the AC on and just like not really kicking it up. So then I see this button on my dashboard I've never hit before that says max AC. Oh, and I oh, went, yeah. I, I went, button too. Mm. so I hit it. We're driving about like three minutes after I hit that button. It's just instantaneous. <sighs> like the coldest, most refreshing air conditioning. I was like, let's go. Let's go. And Set then we, wrong, but I, okay. You say, say it right. Let's, let's go. go. Let's, let's go. go. See, you guys say, okay. you guys say it like that. Let's go. Like let's go. Let's call her. Let's Anyways, go. Finish your finish, <laughs> finish okay. your story. We stop in Louisville. I think we probably stopped in Louisville for like three Louisville. hours. Lou- Louisville. Lou- Louisville. 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 Uh, we stopped there probably, I don't know, three hours or something. Get back in the car, dude. And the AC like kicks on, but it just won't get cold anymore. Oh, is it just hot air? It was or just like- hot air. And so we, I'm like, I'm like, dude, this is not good, bro. I think, I think we blew it out with the, with the max AC button. So we spent our time with the windows down, dude. And it was hot. Anyway, we get up in the next morning and we go, uh, we go pick up my buddy, Justin, who's, who's down there and he's in the car and he's like, dude, why is it so hot in here? And I'm like, I think we broke the air conditioning, dude. <laughs> but, uh, don't so, let him drive with it the wasn't, AC on. It wasn't great. No, uh, I think like AC AC is great. Um, but if it's the well, perfect temperature out there, if it's the perfect temperature, I probably rather go windows. It's because it's also like if you're not driving very far, you have to deal with like hot AC. If it's been like hot outside, yeah, and t- for like for the first like ten minutes, yeah, you got to deal with that for a little bit. Um, but I would probably go windows because nighttime if my hat, with the windows down, blaring some good music. So it's like you know. I would do that. I'm a big window. I'm a big Windows guy. Oh, and so. when he says good music, only Kanye albums. <laughs> no, no, you forgot about the Foo Fighters part. Oh yeah, that's right. That's right. Foo yeah, Fighters and yeah. Kanye. No, that's not all I listen to. It's just a joke. It is but, a joke. But okay, I'm I'm with you. You know, Windows down and never. It's. Never I mean, like, winter I like time. It. Windows still down. Windows still down. Yeah, yeah. Especially if it's snowing snow. out. But, um, snowing out. It's raining. Think, Windows thing, still down. The thing. The thing with. Uh, AC is like I feel like you only gotta have it if it's hot out, um, like really hot out. Like I would say like eighty plus, maybe a little. No, I'd probably say like seventy five plus. Um, and that that's when the AC goes on. So like, it's on for a long time, at least you know, from like it feels like it's from spring to like October, because October sometimes will be random days that are like eighty five in October. You're like what what is going on? October is so goofy, bro. It's se- September is usually goofy, but sometimes I guess October. September is the goofy one. I can never tell if September is like, even though I don't, I don't think fall actually starts until like the end of November, right? Dude, fall lasts for like a month now. Like it's just October. What? what? That's fall. <laughs> when does? Yeah, because then and then and then November happens, and it's just yeah. When November winter. hits, it's just it's just winter at that point, in my opinion. That's how it feels like for me. But I'm gonna just say when does fall or when does fall? I think fall um, starts. It's October, isn't it? No, it can't be. It's got to be September. October would be really short. Well, that's what, that's what I meant. I meant to say, yeah, it's September 22nd. I meant to say, when does the winter start? Because winter always feels like it should be like, when do you think winter should start in your head? When does winter November. start? Sometime in like early November. It's December 21st is when winter starts. It's four days before Christmas? Four days for Christmas. That's crazy. Yeah, that's the so way. That's what I knew was tell, weird. You're telling me December twentieth is fall. December twentieth is December twentieth is fall, my guy. I, I guess. I guess that's, that's how it is. Really stupid. What are you doing? <laughs> Anyways, I'm fighting, I'm fighting the. We're getting really off monster. topic today, but I, it doesn't hey, matter. Hey, that's what's up, though. That is what's up. Okay. Um, gang. gang. Yeah, why did I just say? Oh, I'm gonna, I'm why gonna did, cry in a hole, bro. Yeah, why? You should just now cut. I'm you should going just to my closet. That. And we're back. We had to take a little quick cut. Um, <laughs> we ain't cutting that. I got time. <laughs> we for ain't that. cutting that out. <laughs> I ain't got time for that. <laughs> um, busy man. Okay, has been working me. So we'll do this one. So I, I also threw this one together fast. Would you rather only be able to listen to old music 
or only be able to listen to new music? Define when the cutoff is for both. Hmm. I, I got to think about this for a second. So what if I said, like, from today on, you can only listen to new music? So from today's releases on, you can only listen to that new music, and then today back, you can listen to those releases. What would your answer be? Is that tough? For me? I feel like I know my answer pretty... I think either way, I know my answer. Uh, oh, that's it's tough, tricky because on one hand, I know what's out there. I know what I like. You know but, what's you know what, what you if, like. And you, what would I be missing out on in the future? I mean, for me personally. I haven't had over the past couple years, I haven't had a really good album drop for a lot of genres that have like wowed me like older albums have. And I, maybe that's like, I mean, maybe that's old. because they're I'm, ni- I'm 19 yeah. years old, but like yeah, maybe because I am older, but I do get but, what you're saying. But maybe, like, maybe yeah. those, maybe those ones feel like classics because they're turning into classics. Yeah. I mean, and maybe maybe we'll look back in ten years on some of these albums coming out and we're like, hold up, I was missing something there. That's, yeah, that's a classic. No, I mean definitely. There, there's been there's been albums like that recently. Like, I mean, I'll go back and albums that I would completely write off when they first came out and go back and listen to them. I'm like, yeah, these are pretty good albums. But you also have to think about like all the older stuff. Like my play my playlists for like all my different genres of music I listen to are mostly stuff I've been listening to for years or like a couple years. But I get burnt out on music, bro. I don't listen to music as much as you do, so I guess that's fair. But I feel like most of the time I spend listening to music too, I'm listening to new releases. That is true. I think it's just it's it's a very different perspective between us in this case. That's tough, dude. Like I can't you're telling me I can't go back and listen to any of the music anymore. So tonight at midnight, when all the new music drops, because you know it's, yeah. everything's dropping tonight at midnight, yeah. there's going to be a cutoff. Yeah, it right just then. nope. You can't listen. It's like all all the old stuff gone, or all the new stuff is gone. It's just it, it, no new stuff, I guess. I mean, because like you also you got to think about like because there's always going to be something new, but. Even even in the old, there's always gonna be something I never heard before. I, I'm I'm already thinking this now because there's also like, where what do you count like? Well, I you can't really count that. I was like covers of older stuff, but you can listen to covers. They're getting released covers. afterwards. Yeah, I guess it makes sense. But anyways, oh dude, you got me thinking hard on this one. I'm I'm rethinking. Well, I I I was pretty set so, in like, old, but. Because it's thing is, I yeah. love, I love watching music change over time. So I think, I think mm-hmm. just because, like, I just like seeing, you know, what technological advances move forward, the way people like, people are learning how to use the guitar differently every single day. Yeah, just the guitar. And I just want to like, I just kind of just want to keep seeing where that's going. Like. That's fair. Yeah, I'm going with starting tonight at midnight, only new stuff. So Respect that. With. I think I think I'm still gonna go with old stuff just because the amount of the amount of time like if I if I looked at like the amount of time I've listened to music, the amount of times I've I would listen to older stuff, but it's also weird because it's like I can't get like a new favorite. So it's like a new album comes out and I'll listen to it and then I'll get like, you know x amount of favorites from the new album and toss it on my playlists and it's just like i can't do that anymore and so it's almost like the cycle cuts off if i if you go with the old one right so it's like at least for me personally how i listen to music i don't get new stuff like a new um album comes out and then you know it's just going to be the, the flat line i guess is what i'm trying to say right. but yeah i probably still go with old though i mean from like now on i think i, I think i can manage honestly so Okay, we're gonna we're gonna go with uh with two different things there, huh? Yeah, that was a good okay. one. That was better than I thought it would be when I first thought. I'm it. gonna hit you back with another music one. Okay, 
music and sports. Okay. Would you rather have a signed football from Joe Montana? <laughs> okay. Or a signed guitar from Dave Grohl? Oh, this one's specifically for me. Yeah. Oh, it's tough. That's that's re- That's a good one. That's this was re- I, I literally made this one just for you. It's a really <laughs> good. This is a really good one. Hmm. It's like I don't even. I mean, Joe Montana is probably my favorite Niner. If not, he's like top five. Um, but it's just Joe Montana, so it's like everybody like, that, knows who Joe Montana is. That, everybody that, knows who Joe Montana yeah, is. Yeah, that means I get to meet both of them pretty much. Yeah. If I, you know, like, cause if they're, if they're like, I'm giving them it to sign or am I like, just like getting the sign they, item. They used it. Either Joe Montana used it in a game or Dave Grohl used it in a concert. Oh. And then afterwards. They sign, they it, sign and it and give it to you. Honestly, this, this might be go. Like, this could be like the most historic concert ever, or it could be the most historic football think- game ever. I think this is going to go against me a little bit and what you know me by, but I think I'm going to go with the Dave Grohl. Dude. I think a <laughs> like, Cu- couple, couple reasons here. I look, I, the hat, I'm a big Niners guy, so it would be really sick, but there's like certain things in, in football that I would probably rather have him sign. Like, Oh, uh, so let's go with the helmet then maybe. If there's no, like- no, 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 I'm not, ta- I'm not talking. I'm not talking about like the football, like, like momentum, like, or like legacy things. Like, his a hundredth touchdown or like a uh, touchdown for like the passing record or like, uh, maybe it like is some, though. something like that. Like maybe it is right. But here's the thing. I would have that on display. It would look really cool, but a signed guitar by Dave <laughs> Grohl just sitting on your wall would look so sick. Dude, I'm I'm picturing the I'm picturing the guitar of rock episode from regular show. Yeah. Where they go yeah. To yeah. Miller's I was, that, that's kind of what I was thinking of. <laughs> But it would look so sick hanging up on a. I'm not even the music. Like I'm not. I don't even play any instruments. But it would just looks so sick, dude. It'd be tough. It, it's. I don't know. It's like football signatures are really cool, in my opinion. I think. I think because obviously either of these items is going to the man cave, right? Yeah. And I think it kind of just depends on how you have the man cave set up. You yeah. know what I mean? Like if you got it like, like stone fireplace, you got like you know taxidermy deer like hanging over the fireplace you know like the sign football hanging like, yeah i mean like, that would right be there. really cool that'd be tough right if, if you're going for like a more like or if vintage, you have like, like rustic one if but you if have you had, like, like a, a more modern one modern like a game room and like a, with a big tv or like a movie screen that the guitar would look sick there i mean dude you could would, backlight it dude yeah oh, there's so much stuff i think you could, like make it look sick i think the guitar would just mean more and I think it would just look cooler, honestly. I mean, obviously, I'd want both, you know. Give, give me both. G- give me both. But, see, and it's also, like, I don't even know if Joe Montana is, like, my favorite Niners player either. He probably is. Um, Or he's up. Like I said, he's up there. You're going to take over him, Jerry Rice. Jerry Rice is definitely up there. Um, Some other guys. Pat Willis is a bro. What's the, bro, what's Brock Purdy? <laughs> Not yet. Hey, if he, if he wins a Super Bowl, maybe. But... <laughs> No, like I mean, Joe, Joe Montana is like, bro. What's Jimmy Garoppolo's <laughs> signature? But uh, good Niners out there. No, nah, he's Kittle. uh, he Kittle would Kittle would be a sick. Kittle a signed Kittle jersey would be crazy. I just want to have a conversation with him after listening to him uh, Theo. on Theo's Theo's podcast. Yeah, he just I just want to have a conversation with that dude. So. No, that, that was like that was a good one. Even though it was specifically for me, but like all you people in the audience, think about two different sides of the coin. You know, it doesn't have to be a musician and an athlete, but two signed things, and you know, think about if you'd want them. Maybe I don't know. Maybe like you get a sign, you get the first volume of One Piece signed by Oda. That would be really cool. It would be cool. Eric's just staring into the void right now. So, cool. Anyways, um, I don't know which one to do next. I'm like I'm between Pick two. Let's do. Let's. I'll just keep going in order. Let's do. 
toss it over. Speaking of Oda, let's go to One Piece. Oh, would you rather? I bear with me. I don't. This is either going to be really easy or really. So, would you rather have God Valley get animated or shown (sighs) manga? Or I said info on the Void Century. I didn't know how much to say on the Void Century, but. Because I originally was gonna do, I originally was gonna do God Valley versus a Kainu and a Aokiji, but that's easily God Valley, in my opinion. Because there's a lot more there, but I think if you toss it with something else that's super important, like the Void Century. So okay, here's here's the thing. We know the outcome of God Valley. Obviously, we know the outcome. Right. We know nothing about the Void Century, and the Void Century will change. The it entire will. Higher story. There's there's a lot of other huge things that could. I don't know if they did happen. That could happen. At that could. Yeah. Like, is Rocks actually dead? Is uh, Shanks? Because there's a bunch of those. Because he was uh he was at God. I don't know if you know this. He was at God Valley mm-hmm. right when the fight happened, and then Roger adopted him pretty much. So like, why was he there? What civilization was on God Valley? Is he a celestial dragon? Because that's a whole rumor going on right now. Mm-hmm. You know, a lot of those questions answered. I said info on the voice. I didn't know what to compare this to. I just wanted to talk about God Valley. But if and if I said the Alkiji versus Ikainu fight, like I talked about, that's just that fight. There's nothing else really to it. You know, like maybe you can see how the structure of the Marines changed, but like it's not as exciting. You know, so. It really boils down to: Do you want the important inf- important info, or do you want to see one of the sickest fights ever? Like, you, yeah, like the the One Piece animation. I'm gonna go off of the anime because that's what I watch, and that's where it's gonna look. The anime, sick. right? If you, if you if you if we took this the way they're doing this Gear Five, and mm-hmm. the thing the thing I love about the way they're doing this Gear Five right now is the line art, the line animation. It's like you know the one rough. shot of like his like hand on his chest. And he's like standing mm. up and it's like an upward angle, you know, like the way like the lines are moving on him. Yeah. It's like when I first saw this new style of that, like, piece animation, that. I was like, it's like, it's like, a, it's, it's like rough around the edges, but in the best possible way. And, dude, um, and with the, with the impact frames of the mm-hmm. Zoro fight. Yeah. And the smoking on that big mom pack. Smoking but, on that. Yeah, but it's like the Void yeah, Century. Crazy. The the Void Century is just going to be a plot dump whenever we find a good plot dump. It's just oh, going to be, be huge. A bunch of stuff that's going to happen. And me personally, I really, I really want to see Garp and Roger fighting together. That would like because we've never seen Prime Garp fight. We've never seen Prime. Oh, Garp we fight. haven't seen it. We've never seen him fight, uh, and we've barely ah. seen Prime Roger fight. Or we didn't see Prime Roger fight. We just saw the flashback. And um and, and Wano that he wasn't in his prime then he almost, he was like a couple years away from dying at that point. He didn't really fight either, so it was just like a clash. Um, but then you see Prime Whitebeard. Um, we know nothing about rocks. We know nothing about. We know rocks. nothing about rock. We don't know who else was on his crew. There could have been some other cracked people on his crew that we just didn't know about. And yeah, it's I mean, also we know, like we know you know Kaido and Big Mom were there, but like yeah, who else? Who else? I mean, there's uh, 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 what? What's his face? The Golden Lion. What's his name? Uh, it starts with the S. Yeah, hit that dude. Whatever his name is, uh, he he was there. He was on the crew too. Cheeky, cheeky. That's who cheeky, it is. cheeky. That's it. Yeah, 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 yeah he, he's cheeky. there. He was he was there too. Um, so like a lot of just both. All of this is context for like the future of One Piece. Because I love the theory that Rox is alive. And that he did because his whole goal was he wanted to be the king of the world, and he became the king of the world when he was Eam or whoever Eam is. That's what I want. So, oh, theorizing. Okay. Beep, 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 yep. beep, 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 beep. Worm, worm. So upset. Might just turn into a one piece three. I'm sorry about that. Beep. Oh, sorry. What if God Valley is a parallel? Okay. And that was the parallel of that generation. And before we even go to Laugh Tale, for any of that happens, what if what if there's no battle at Laugh Tale? What if there's no battle leading to Laugh Tale on, on like the seas or anything? What if we get a God Valley? 
and the winner goes. Yeah. What if? Well, I mean, because if, okay, if listen, you really, cause, if cause, you think cause... about it, yeah, if you think about it, all of, everybody who was in God Valley, um, that was like the pro- or that was like what we're trying to theorize now with One Piece, with like everybody in this last war, all the big key players were at God Valley. God Valley, God Valley, Cross Guild teamed up with Blackbeard mm-hmm. versus Luffy and all his allies. Yeah, I mean, we're talking laws there. Probably law. We could say um, Shanks is maybe there. I, we don't know if Shanks is fighting. With with Luffy. Um, Dragon, Dragon. Uh, Sabo, of course, you've got Kobe pulling up with the Marines Kobe. like Garp did, like Garp did, because the like Garp, Garp did, because the Garp and Kobe parallels already happening. Mm-hmm. There's a lot that you can dive in with this, but like, there's so much with the Void Century that we did, like Joy Boy, the biggest, like oh. one of the biggest, like one of the biggest mysteries. You know, it's like what was he? His he story? was the he was the owner of the the Hito he to yeah. no me before. Mm, or he's like, you know, like, what's his story? Was he at? No, uh, he was before God about that. It's like, he, no, no. That was the um, generation before. Generation. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But it's like, was he, like, what if, dude, what if he made a crew with all parallels to Luffy's crew right now? Like, what if it's like somebody that's like a distant uh, ancestor or like a distant ancestor of Zoro, Nami? Like, like Ryuma? Yeah, kind of. And like Usopp and so like you, every, you- all the crew. This is also a sidebar. Did you see that they're making a one-shot anime? Yeah, I did see that. And for it's, Ryuma's story? It's canon to One Piece. Oh, my. Oh! That was really cool. But, <laughs> Dude, it, it's not It's not going to be animated by Toei. It's going to be some other company. Yeah. Um, I can't remember what else they've done. But it is going to be insane. It's literally just Ryuma like, fighting like crazy monsters and yeah. stuff, dude. But I think I don't know we can keep talking about One Piece. But oh, sorry, I mean, we're hitting. We should right. we we need to we, look theory episode theory episode. We'll have a th- we we'll do that soon. We've been talking about that for a while now. Hey, we'll listen. do a theory episode soon. Because all y'all like, out there in a couple uh, weeks, even though Eric's really not caught up, but he knows everything. I know everything. He knows um, everything, so uh, we'll time. do it in a couple weeks. Um, so sorry. Here here to, here. Yeah. I love parallels. Yes, you do. And my favorite anime slash manga that deals with parallels um is i love the parallels throughout jjk which brings me to my next would you rather okay in the real world mm-hmm. where we are right now i am here i am in my room would you rather have the powers of gojo okay or look like gojo i look like gojo easy I mean, that, like, think, think though, think though. We're looking at power versus appearance. So, power, you could do anything with that power. Yes, you could. You could destroy every, like, he has powers, like, probably stronger than a nuke, bro. If you hit, yeah. if you hit people with hollow purple and you're like, Psh. dude. But it's like, what am I gonna, what am I gonna use that for? <sighs> anything. Take over governments. He has infinity, bro. Nobody can touch him. You want me just to rule the world? Be- I'm just gonna, Dude, I'm you the could, king. you could rule the world. You okay. think you think you're the king? I'm the king. Okay. Listen, sorry, that was bad. You could, that was bad. You I'm could, sorry. You could rule the world. Or the other options, you can I pull any shit you want. Rule the world. Those are the two options. Rule the world. I mean, look, I'm not the most attractive guy out there. I know that. I don't pull very much. <laughs> <laughs> bro said very much very much very much very much thank you very much thank you very much uh, um but no it's like i don't know what i'm gonna i'm like well you just want me to run around the planet just i'm gonna turn the i'm gonna turn ooh. earth into owen land dude owen world owen world it's gonna be the like smelly land the smell is smelly no I, I don't i don't know and we also don't know everything about gojo's abilities too like he could get something later on too, you know. He's read the manga, so I don't uh, know. He doesn't get anything. He doesn't get anything. Okay, I know. I, I, okay, but bro's yes. cracked. You can't he's hurt cracked. him. He can attract anything, repel anything. Mm. 
whatever hollow purple does because apparently that's what happens when he does the attract and the repel and he puts them together and it's the red and the blue and it makes the purple yeah but well, um, but if you look like gojo oh, i mean yeah. every day i'd wake up in the morning but you know like those memes where it's like me every day if or like life if and it's like the dude and it's like everything's blowing up and he's like handing out like cokes to people <laughs> you know that video yeah that'd be me if i woke up as gojo bro yes i would pro- i don't know i'd like i don't really want to rule the world yeah i don't really want to either <laughs> like i like i just don't know what i'm gonna use gojo like it's funny forward. to think about but if i looked like gojo yeah it'd just be over you know that's what i'm thinking that's that's my train of thought the train is going. So, last one. <laughs> I like this one. This one's went, funny. I like this one. <laughs> this one's funny. So, in honor of the mock on my head getting cut off, would you rather never be able to cut your hair again or every time you get it cut, you get a random haircut? You get a random cut. And it's like it's like spinning the wheel, and you could get, you know, like think every type bald. of. You could get bald. You could get the reverse mohawk. You could get. Oh. You could get like, the, just the you could just the keep toilet this, bowl. Like, toilet bowl, yeah. You and you could get like, um, I don't know, like all the goofy haircuts, like in it, just like really bad haircuts. Like they just take the razor, and just go like this. There's like 15 haircuts on the wheel, and like one of them's good. <laughs> yeah i i didn't really know how to word it i was gonna say like your barber just gets to pick it but like that's like you know, probably i feel like my barber is not gonna do me dirty like that yeah so unless your barber really hates you like you just don't <laughs> you just don't tip well he's like dude this guy tips me like one dollar every time i hate this dude if you're tipping one dollar at the barbers you can't listen to our podcast anymore yeah please please don't do that um barbers so yeah but you never get to cut your hair again So you're gonna look like a caveman walking down the street. Yeah, I don't want to look like a caveman. I or like, you're gonna have I reverse like, mohawk, and you know, I feel like I could hide reverse mohawk with a hat. I can't hide caveman hair with a hat. <laughs> oh, and you couldn't hide your hair with a hat, bro. I'm I sorry. Did. I know you tried. You couldn't hide your hair with a hat. I now, if I got the reverse mohawk right now, I'd throw a hat on. And everybody'd be like, "Oh, it's normal." I take my hat off. Dude, and be like, it would, it would be funny. Like, it would. This would be good for the context of of this challenge. But like, you got your hair cut and you just took like a little bit off, like like a sh- like half of a strand, like a single piece of hair. You just cut it off, and he's like, "All right, you're good." And you you had to pay full price for it. He's like, he's man, like, that was oh tough. man. Gosh, what gee golly. That was tough. Woo-wee. No, I probably I probably go with the random haircut. I I go with the random haircut. I can hide it. I I can hide it. Unless if it's like unless you like could put more hair on your head. Pro's <laughs> talking about the NBA 2K barber. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. You walk into the barber shop with the buzz cut, and you walk out, and you're like, No, you, no, you just got a mullet. You walk in, he's like, all right, what haircut is it this time? And he's just like, he's like, he's like, let me go grab the materials real quick. Real quick. And he has like a like fake wig hair and glue. And he's like, oh no. And he's just start gluing extra hair to your head. <laughs> I don't know, dude. It's the last time I'm ever doing a podcast with Owen. <laughs> Wood. This is the last My one. honest reaction. Man, this is the last one right here. Yes, it is. Would you rather have custom Brent's do Funko Pops of you and me? <laughs> okay. Or an unlimited supply of Rents do golf balls. Oh, baby. he's top. He's top. Look at him right here. Rents. Do what would what would you what would, what would you be wearing? What would, what would your Funko Pop be? Hey, I think you're missing the point here. We got rents do <laughs> golf balls. Yes, we do. We got rents. And if you want to see a balls. really really cool um video of me unboxing them, I, I made one. It's on TikTok. It's on YouTube Shorts. Posted it. Instagram. Instagram. 
and Instagram. Oh, it is on Instagram. We don't post there too much, but it's on Instagram. It's like really choppy for some reason on Instagram, and it's making me don't, mad. I like don't, don't, like three go to, times. don't don't go to Instagram. Just go to YouTube. 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 If you're watching you like. on Spotify, just watch. Just watch on YouTube. Watch it on YouTube, Spotify. Watch man. it on YouTube. Come on, man. But but I digress. I digress. I yeah, digress. he copped out with that last one. But what would but, uh, uh, uh what I be wearing? Yeah, what would you be wearing if you're a Funko Pop? Or I guess, like, would you have anything special in it? Like, would you, I don't know, would you be sitting at your desk? I probably beats? want, I probably want, oh, no, these are Rents Doom ones. I guess it would be Rents Doom ones, yeah. <laughs> I probably want my mic like this. Probably want me sitting in a chair, and I want my straw hat flag in the background. I'd probably, I don't know. I'd probably be wearing a hat. I don't know. Probably the law hat because I wear that one a lot on here. Mm-hmm. And also because it, it matches with everything. Um, probably your oh. orange Adidas shirt. This isn't. This is Bing. Bing. It looks orange. Bing. I know. It's probably the ping. Way. Probably the ping. Probably the ping the, I, Adidas I shirt. Um, and then maybe like the giant moon from Majora's Mask. I kind of want that in the background. It's really random. <laughs> I don't know. I don't Bro, know. wait. I have an idea. I had an idea. No, dude, you were like inside my head when you did that. What? <laughs> now listen up, I... buckaroo. Is this better? Anywho. I'm holding my mic for the rest of the... I don't have a mic stand. I can. Let's do golf balls. We what? have them. And yeah. I'm thinking about doing a video. Owen, you can knock this if you'd like. Okay. I'm just going to do a video. I'm going to record it when I go out golfing on Monday. I'm going to be like... Golfing? Hitting a ball. Hitting a rent stew golf ball. First time hitting a rent stew golf ball. Anyway, that's, that's my idea. Anyways. No, I want to take some time to thank you all for watching thank this you. episode. Thank Watch you for the episode. continued support on the channel. Continued you know, support on the channel. It's, you know, it's, it's a grind to get to get it's up there. It's a grind. Um, I'm still trying get to keep up, up the uh, the daily shorts every still single day. Still trying to keep up the daily shorts every day. <laughs> I hate you. I, I hate you. I'm trying to have a nice heartfelt message. To the I'm trying viewers. to have a nice heartfelt message to the viewers. You messed it up. You, <laughs> you messed it up. I said message. <laughs> Well, anywho, thank you guys for being here. We really appreciate your time and support. It's a, it's a, it's a grind to get here. Uh, you know, I would try to keep up with the, the daily shorts. And um, just want to let you know that uh, please sub. I'm very grateful. I was trying to thank the, I was trying to thank you all, but Eric was being annoying. But Eric thank was you. being annoying. He didn't even hear. He doesn't have his headphones. I didn't hear me do that. Anyway, uh, we're being a little bit goofy. It's late. We're gonna go play some Call of Duty Zombies. Um, but uh, you know, you know, sometimes, uh, sometimes, you know, things come up and uh, money can come and go. But uh, in the end, one of the most important things you can do is uh, just you know make sure that you're ready and available to uh, to pay your rent.